I'm going to show you how to make the best looking photos on Instagram by using the correct settings for quality and size when you output from Lightroom. Hi, my name's Tim Shields. I'm a landscape photographer, and my goal is to help you take your photography from good to great. If you want to do that, then hit the red subscribe button and the little bell beside it. I'm also going to give you a free sample pack of my signature profiles that I created just for landscapes. Click the link down below and you can download them right now. So in this video, we're going to talk all about Instagram, how to export your photos from Lightroom and get them into Instagram with the perfect settings so that your photos will be the highest quality. What most people don't know is that Instagram has an algorithm that actually compresses the photos that you upload. So many times they don't look as good on your phone as they did on your computer screen. I'm going to show you how to avoid that. We're going to be talking about two different aspect ratios for your uploads to Instagram. The first one is the four by five. This one is a portrait style aspect ratio where it is taller than it is wide. And the second type of aspect ratio is the one by one. This is the same width as the height. And this is the most commonly used on Instagram, but it's not always the best. So let's jump into Lightroom and I'm going to show you the settings that I use so that you can have your Instagram photos with the highest possible quality and the proper color correction. Because what often happens is that the image has a different color when you look at it on your phone compared to how it looked on your computer screen in Lightroom. I'm going to show you how to avoid that problem. All right, so I've got Lightroom Classic CC open and let's talk about the best aspect ratio for uploading your photos to Instagram. There are three main aspect ratios that you can possibly use. One of them is a landscape orientation that kind of looks like that. And I don't recommend this one for the reason that when you look at the photos on your grid in Instagram, they're always square to start with. And whenever you go to a landscape orientation, like if you have a panorama, it just doesn't look good on Instagram. I've learned the hard lesson and I don't use this particular aspect ratio. So let's talk about the other two that are the most popular. The first one is square and the second one is portrait. So it's taller than it is wide. The best aspect ratio for Instagram really is this portrait because everybody's looking at photos on a phone and when you're using the portrait aspect ratio, it fills the entire screen and it looks the best. People see the most of your photo. But let's start with the square aspect ratio which gets used the most and a square aspect ratio is one to one which means the height is the same as the width. So in order to choose this aspect ratio, we're going to go over to the right hand side and click on the crop tool. And once you're in the crop tool, you want to click over beside aspect and choose one by one. Once that's chosen, now wherever you drag your crop tool, it's going to stay completely square. So for a photo like this, I want to have the uh, crop tool down on the bottom and then bring it up pretty much as high as it can go, which it's telling me is here. Just move it down, then move left to right, figure out where I want that one tree that's the closest to the camera. I'll put it at roughly on the one third line. I like that composition. I double click and there it is. And now I'm ready for an export. Okay, so the square cropping is done. Now let's do a portrait cropping and we're going to use the four by five aspect ratio. So I head over to the cropping tool, which is already selected and I select four by five. But you'll notice that even though it's in four by five, this is a landscape orientation and I want a portrait orientation. So I click X on the keyboard and that flips it up into the portrait orientation. So if you take a look here, the X, again, I can flip to landscape and then flip back to portrait. So I stretch it out to the cropping that I want, which would be, uh, it's just a little bit too big and it won't let me. I've got to just pull it up from the bottom, pull over to the right and click done. So now I am ready for the export. So let's take a look at the export settings and I get to them by going up to file and export. 
Now these settings here are super important if you're looking for a sharp photo on Instagram and with the correct color. How many complaints I hear about people who upload to Instagram and they find that their image doesn't look the same way as it did in Lightroom. So let's get started. The export location for me is super important. I like to keep my photos very well organized because I have tens of thousands of them. So I export to the same folder as the original photo. Then I have this box ticked, put in subfolder, and I name this small photos. So I always have a subfolder called small photos that contains the photos that I have uh, cropped and exported for social media. Then we go down to file naming. This is also really important for me. I like to give my photos a name that will trigger my memory as to what this photo was all about. So in this case, birch trees, and then this four digit number 8754, that is the number that my camera assigned the image. So this way, if I see this photo three years from now and I'm trying to find the original photo, I can just do a search in Lightroom for the number 8754 and it will take me right back to my original photo. Then the next number, four by five, that's the aspect ratio. And I have an annotation here that says four IG for Instagram. So I know clearly what this photo is for. Scroll down to the file settings, super important. We want to export for Instagram using a JPEG, not these other options. And we want to choose sRGB. Now these other options like Adobe RGB or Pro Photo RGB, these are great if you're going to be exporting for print, like you're going to make a canvas print or a paper print of your image. But if you are exporting for web, Instagram or Facebook, choose sRGB. The next one is the quality. Now you would think that you want 100% quality, but no, you actually don't for Instagram. And the reason for that is that if the file size is at 100, then chances are the Instagram algorithm is going to be reducing the overall size and compressing your photo. So the online consensus is that a number of 76 for quality will most likely result in Instagram not compressing your photo. Now let's go to image size. So I always choose resize to fit. And in this case, I have chosen the four by five and I want it to be 1350 high and 1080 wide. And so for this photo, I want the first number to be 1350 and then I can leave the second dimension blank and I know it's going to be 1080 because of the four by five ratio. For resolution, I'm selecting 100 pixels per inch. Now the next one is sharpening. Actually, I'm just gonna back up. For image sizing, if we were exporting a square photo, the one by one, then I would say 1080. So our finished image would be 1080 by 1080 for a square photo. And for the four by five portrait, it would be 1350 by 1080. So output sharpening, this is also important. Now, even if I have sharpened the image in Lightroom, I'm still going to apply sharpening. So I tick this box, sharpen for screen, and this means web. We're not sharpening for paper printing, and the amount is on high. There's low, standard, and high. I want the high. And this brings us to the bottom, and we are done. So I'm going to click the export button now, and Lightroom starts to chew on the export, and we should see a progress bar up in the top left-hand corner usually. I'm surprised I'm not seeing it now. And the output has been created. And here it is down here on the bottom in my toolbar. And now I have my photo that is ready for upload to Instagram. So for 2018, 2019, Instagram is where it's at for photographers. In the past, our galleries were only on websites, but now your gallery is the grid on Instagram. This is where everyone goes to take a look at your work and it's good as a photographer to have a nice looking grid of your best photos. So please give this video a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me if you do. Leave a comment if you learned something new. Let me know what you think. And please hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it. Thanks so much. See you in the next video and see you on Instagram.